Ginger, you scared the sh** out of me. My dogs just opened the door and started walking in. Single file line. Guys, I'm having dinner with Selena Gomez today, so let's get ready. You know what? I'm lying. I, I'm not lying. I'm actually having dinner with Rare Beauty today for Hispanic Heritage Month. It's like a little event that they're throwing and I couldn't bring a plus one. So in my head I'm assuming that Selena's coming, but I'm getting my hopes up. But I'm manifesting it. <laughs> so the event is at 7 o'clock tonight and it is currently late. It's 2.30. So we have enough time to make it there early or on time at the very, very least. You guys know me, I am chronically late to everything. Even when I try to be early. And I wish I wasn't like this, but this event is important to me, as is any other event, but this one specifically because I don't know what to expect and I'm very nervous. I don't know who's coming and I can't bring my girlfriend who helps me socialize because I'm very shy. I'm a little bit nervous. I decided to start getting ready now because I don't want to have a lot of anxiety. I took a shower and then I took a nap because I was exhausted. I don't know why, but like there's just like patterns in my life where I'm just like doing really well for a few weeks or a few months like I'm getting to bed early I'm going to sleep early I wake up feeling happy and rested and then recently I don't know what's been going on with me but I cannot go to sleep like I just toss and turn that's just that's anxiety that's being an adult but that's what's going on currently like I have not been able to fall asleep all week and I go to sleep at like 2 3 in the morning and I have to wake up early because I have a son I have responsibilities like I can't sleep in so it makes me very irritable and very tired and today I was like I need to take a nap so that I'm not just like angry at everybody for no reason and I feel better I'm feeling a lot better now. I feel like I can tackle the rest of the day just fine. Valeria didn't go to work today, so she's been helping me with Mateo and like she went grocery shopping. She's been doing a lot today and I appreciate her so, so, so very much. I have my coffee from a few hours ago and it's a little bit warm and I don't know if that's a, a little bit gross, but I kind of want to drink it because I really like it. This is my current order for fall. Screenshot it. It's so good. So good. I was afraid it wasn't going to be good because of the sugar-free vanilla syrup, but it is delicious. It's fine. We'll drink it. No time to wait. I don't know what I'm gonna wear tonight, guys. Oh. <clears throat> of course, I'm gonna do my makeup with Rare Beauty. I have never loved a makeup brand more. Like, I was pleasantly surprised, if I'm being honest with you, because I feel like a lot of celebrity brands aren't that good. But I think that Rare Beauty has exceeded everybody's expectations. Not sponsored. They did not pay me to say this. And I stand by that. Like, I use Rare Beauty constantly because it is really, really good. Specifically, what I've been using recently that I can't find, their Illuminating Primer is amazing. Even if you're not doing your makeup, it leaves your face so glowy. And I've had this for a few months and I just hadn't used it for some reason. But watch. I need to put my headband on. I feel like that leaves my face looking like I just washed it and just did my skincare. And it really does work under your foundation. I love it so much. If you're gonna get anything from Rare Beauty, this is amazing. I feel like we're gonna be ready so early today because I don't even have to do anything to my hair. I washed it yesterday and surprisingly, it's not greasy today. I feel like the way you wash your hair is a lot more important than the products that you're using. Even though that can be important too, I was not washing my hair right for a long time, which is why whenever I would wash it and then dry it, it would still feel dirty and like look oily. I've been using Olaplex for a while and even that I was like not noticing a big difference. I started washing my hair first just like the regular way and I try to do it very thoroughly and then I rinse it out and then I wash it again. You have to double wash your hair. And I wash it again and then I flip it over and I wash it from like under my scalp. My hair has never been cleaner since I started doing that. And then I kind of just like squeeze out all the water from my hair and then put on conditioner oh my god guys you have to you have to just wash your hair right if you have oily hair problems like me i feel like that would help a lot sometimes i just get lazy though you know like i just want to like get it over with but i learned my lesson i have been trying to finish this foundation for so long literally i've had it for like three years okay oh my god that wasn't even that dramatic of a fall and it broke i feel like this looks like it's almost done but it has so much product in it i use it every time i do my makeup almost every time i have other foundations that i want to use like i have this rare beauty tinted moisturizer but it has a little bit of coverage i love it i also have this dior foundation that is very light coverage as well i love light coverage foundations i cannot stand like a cakey 
face. It just makes me feel hot and like sweaty and like my makeup is like coming off. I love these, but I've been trying to finish this one, so I use it constantly. I actually thought for a long time this was supposed to be light coverage, and I couldn't understand why every time I put it on it was so full coverage, and I just now just just in this moment, I just read it and it says full coverage cream. And I don't hate it. I think it's very, very good, especially when I have like a lot of breakouts and I'm really trying to cover up. But I'm not going to use it today. I'm going to use the Rare Beauty, of course, in honor of their dinner today. Oh, I am losing my mind because I usually do my eyebrows before I do my makeup because I feel like if I do them after, it gets all smudgy. And that's probably because I'm very messy with the way that I do my eyebrows. I think that is kind of funny how all of us have just such different makeup routines. I feel like we're all so used to doing things our own way that it's like if you change anything about it, like it doesn't turn out the same. My eyebrows look crazy. Are you serious right now? <laughs> Okay, we'll fix it, we'll fix it, we'll fix it, we'll fix it. Some people are just makeup people, and I love makeup. I have loved makeup for so long. I love getting cute, I love pampering myself, I love makeup, I love buying it, but some people have the creativity to like do more, which I feel like maybe this event's gonna have those type of people, and I'm gonna be like, eh. So I'm trying very, very hard with my makeup today. But I feel like it's gonna end up looking like it always does, which I'm fine with, because I love my makeup routine. I think I consider myself more of a fashion girly. <laughs> I love clothes, I love dressing up, even though I most of the time have nowhere to go and I just buy clothes and I stay in my closet for so long because I just never have anywhere to wear them to. So these days I've kind of been like, I'm gonna go to the mall today and I'm gonna get super freaking cute. Or Mateo actually started basketball, which I don't think I've talked about on here, but I have on TikTok. I'm very active on TikTok nowadays, by the way. I love TikTok. But whenever I take him to like his games or his practice, I'm like, I'm just gonna dress up because I feel like you need to. Like I'm starting to look at my life as like every day is a fashion show for me because I love it. And it doesn't need to be for everyone because some people just don't care but i don't know that's just what makes me happy and i'm actually very excited today because i get to wear a cute outfit even though i have no idea what i'm gonna wear and i hope i hope i can come up with something really cute it's actually very disgusting outside it's raining it's been raining for like two weeks now having a house with a backyard i'm just like annoyed i'm very grateful i'm not annoyed i'm very extremely grateful but i have grass now that i need to mow that i need to trim the grass and it keeps growing so fast because it's been raining so much. But back to the topic of clothes. When I was in middle school, they had a book fair, as they do every year. And I had just moved to the United States like a year before. So I was this little, little shy girl. And my family didn't have much money. Not my family, my mom. My mom raised me. My mom raised me and my sister all by herself. And we didn't have a lot of money. And I vividly remember visiting the book fair every single day because the class would go together but I didn't have any money to buy anything or like maybe my mom had given me maybe like five dollars and it just wasn't enough to buy like a book it was maybe enough to buy like a pencil and like a few erasers and maybe I used it I don't really remember but I remember what happened next I would go into the book fair every single day and look at this one specific book that I wanted so badly and it was like a Vogue, like a teen Vogue book and it was just a fashion book. I had like all kinds of like different outfits and different items and being like, oh, this works for this occasion and whatever. It was like a small book, but I couldn't afford it. So at the end of the week, my teacher had noticed that I would go in there and I would just look at this book the entire time everybody was looking around and she ended up buying me the book. And I was, I was so grateful to her. But she bought me this book and I carried the book absolutely everywhere for like a year. I loved this book so much much and i think about her all the time and i hope she's doing well <laughs> i'm having a dilemma right now i just noticed my face is really dry i don't know if you can tell on camera but it's like cracking like all in here it's like not cracking but like peeling quick intermission i got yeah. a package show them your hair cut. did you see my tiktok yeah i commented did you see my comment oh no i haven't been on tiktok because i've been dry what why is it sticking up like that it does that <laughs> i don't know why it's doing that but once i put it down it'll go down did you see that picture i sent you a princess Diana? Yeah. I'm like wearing her. I keep calling her Princess Diana because of her new haircut. I got um a little necklace. Did you show them what you bought me? Do you want to show them what you bought me? Bless you. Bless you. I was looking at lip liners the other day at Ulta and she bought them for me. Look, I'm gonna wear this today. I got a new chain, a gold chain from Etsy. I love gold jewelry. I love charms and I just needed a dainty like chain. 
It's so small. I feel like I'm gonna break it. You can't even see it. Oh my gosh, she looks so cute. Oh my goodness. Let's see. And Disky, no, Disky no. with his sweater. Ginger doesn't get any sweaters. She's taking herself away. <laughs> Ginger doesn't get any because she's humongous and they never have her size. Or they're like $50. Yeah. I got them these um, sweaters yesterday and I got her this one. Look how cute. My baby. Oh, let me groove. What? It's been like 15 minutes of me trying to fix my makeup. And I feel like it looks even worse. I hope this isn't a jump scare. But like, it is so flaky. I'm gonna wash my face. I'm gonna wash my face, I'm gonna start over. Maybe I'll do more in my skincare, I'll do more moisturizer, I don't know what's going on, but I need to fix this. Okay, face is washed. It's now 3.30, it's been an hour, and I've barely, I barely done anything. Like, I only did my face, what the hell? Where does time go? Where does time go? I have to be out of here by six. Look at all the drinks you have. <laughs> Luxury. <laughs> We did it, Joe. Ah, my makeup looks really good, I think. And my eyeliner came out surprisingly even. And it is now five o'clock. I actually did this in like 30 minutes, but I had to take a break to help out there with homework and stuff. So now we're going to add eyelashes. I feel like if you have a TikTok and if you like makeup, you've probably seen these already. We're gonna try them out today and see how they look. They look incredible on everybody else, but I don't really know how to put on lashes. Like, I never put on lashes unless it's a very, very special occasion. And they look very natural. They look very thin, like, kind of like lash extensions. Does that look good? I can't tell. I feel like every time I put on a fake lash, it always looks the same, no matter what fake lash I put on. Oh my god. My smooth, eh? My smooth, bro. Okay, Gucci. <laughs> Gucci, what you doing, Gucci girl? I'm tired. I'm pretending I'm somebody I'm not. And I'm not a lash girl. I got lashy like an eyelash. I did it. I'm lighting my lips with Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk 2, but I need to sharpen it. I'm using the Rare Beauty lipstick in Humble. Did you get it from Ultra uh, Beauty? Ultra? Yeah. Ulta. Ulta? <laughs> No, I didn't get it from Ulta. I thought it was called Ultra Beauty. I got it from Rare, Rare Beauty. Which is at mall? It's at Sephora. Sephora. Yeah, but Rare Beauty Sephora. sent this to me. They sent it, sent it to you? Mm-hmm, and I'm going to, to their event today. Today? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's Rare Beauty. Rare Beauty. Rare Beauty's event. <laughs> This is the Rare Beauty Lip Gloss in Nearly Neutral. I cannot go anywhere without lip gloss. Yep, Um, Okay guys, um, literally you're crazy and also you're a little bit of farts and you kind of fart a little bit and you're gonna have hair on your butt. If you're Stop! <laughs> so my hair looks fine right now, but I really want to add some like volume up here and I don't know how, but I have a thing. Two things actually. I have an IGK volume powder spray and this that feels like it doesn't have anything in it. And I barely use this, so I don't know why it wouldn't have anything in it. But it's another powder. It's the Ohi Instant Texture Hair Powder. I'm afraid that if I put this on, I'm gonna ruin my hair. We live for the drama. Hi, Joe. I gotta take a shower now, okay, Joe? Okay, Matt. Matt. <laughs> okay. I'm shaking it off. Shaking it off. I mean, it works. Let's try the other one. It, it's like a spray, like a pump thing, but it's powder. So, it comes out like that. Okay, it gave my hair a weird texture up here, but I feel like it has a little bit more volume. I feel like it worked. Okay, I just did a get ready with me outfit edition on TikTok, but this is a bit. The dress is realization par, realization par. The heels are Chanel. Jewelry is the same as always and a little, Coach bag to match the shoes. I parted my hair sideways, um, but I don't think it's gonna last. Just for a little bit more volume, but <laughs> it feels weird. Guys, we're here. The restaurant we're eating at is Amara Paraiso, and I've been here before, like almost two years ago, I think, with Valeria. But it's absolutely beautiful. It's one of my favorite places in Miami. Let's go. Not to be the bearer of bad news, but Selena Gomez was not at the event. However, I did have so much fun. All the girls at the event were such good vibes. I made a few friends, and the entire Rare Beauty team was so amazing. And then it started pouring, and of course, my hair poofed up. This is how I ended up looking when I got home. But all is well. Everybody, look at my daughter. 
My little witchy daughter, you look so cute. I bought this at, I don't know, a pet store. I don't remember which one. Petco. Oh. Was it Petco? PetSmart. One of those. No. She's so cute. So cute. I know. Oh. I'm going to match her. I'm going to dress like a witch for Halloween. I bought this because she has a Halloweeny event. Bye, Augie.